the new elements have turned up and what have we got? Well, very similar to the original Shure. So we've got bolt the centre, bit of Paxil in here, uh, two solder tags, a rubber insert there, which is a bit different. Um, the wiring is similar to the Shure, apart from here. Um, the two thin wires that go to the actual uh, element at the front are much thicker than on the Shure. The Shures are actually bare wire which are insulated with a couple of strips of tape. <coughs> now on this one we've actually got a couple of solder tags either side that go to these and then two wires that go underneath this little strange rubber sort of bung which is uh, quite soft rubber. We've got the perforated grill and then we've got a rotatable end. Now it's different from the Shure. It, um, if I compare it with the real Shure, the Shure, and obviously in big letters, says Shure. This doesn't. So it is different. So the original Shure cap is not exactly the same. The, like on most of them, the fins are slightly thicker. The sticker doesn't actually stick on that well, but I don't know if you can actually see it. But in between here, where my thumb is, there's a cardioid symbol and then the word sure and in between the two is a little dimple now that's the hole that's in there that the retaining clip goes into on the inside now on this one there is what appears to be the same thing a little tiny mark there now I don't know whether that's actually a dimple or not so I don't know whether this has got the same sort of mounting holes but I can only really see one. So what I'm going to do, because I would like to use the Sure Top uh, to do this repair. So I'm going to see if I can get this cap off. Um, there's a possibility I might wreck this, but it was eight quid. So I'm not really too concerned about that. For comparison, the one on the right is the Chinese eight quid replacement capsule and you can see the two red wires. Now on the shore one wire goes up underneath that yellow bit of tape and on the other side that's the other wire under that bit of tape. Now uh, let's have a look what have I got underneath here. It's a pretty similar length isn't it? Um, these look like they might be um, might work, I don't really know. I wonder, if I, I wonder if I could try the obvious thing. But what I might be able to do now is get this rubber off. Okay. So that's the rubber off. Now that's completely different design to the sure. Now if I could prise off that perforated disc, the little screen, if I could get that off, I think I might be able to have a go at removing the end. Will I actually be able to undo the clip? I don't, I really don't know. Yeah. Whoa, here we go. Yeah, it's glued in. Gunge. Now you can see here where those two wires attach. Now my question is whether I can get it get into the end here to release the clip. And the clip looks surprisingly similar to the Sure. Bear with me a sec. <laughs> Same design clip by the looks of it. So, fake. It's a very similar. Do you know that is really similar, isn't it? 
to the uh, genuine sure. So let's have a look and see. We've got the slots. Well, they're in similar sort of position, but they're not exactly the same. So I'm not sure if the sure cap is going to fit. So let's, let's have a look on the inside of the two caps. Well, you know, they're, they're, not, they're not that dissimilar. This one is the Chinese one. This one is, is the Shure. So let's have a look and see if that will fit on there. Uh, yeah, it seems to. It rotates. Now the question is going to be, will that fit into the tube? So I'm going to have to clean off all this gunge. So bear with me. Aha! So I've got to take... That needs to come off. This needs to go on. With the spacer. And the nut. And I think that will give me enough slack. That will give me enough slack to get it through the grill. I need to bend a little bit. Okay, uh, third time lucky. Let's try. Uh -huh. That's looking better. Now. It's being a bit resistant here. Oh, no, I think that's going to work. I'm going to have to put this on in reverse because the sure holes don't quite line up. I put it on like that, it fits perfectly, which is uh, the printing on the wrong side. So we have it assembled. So that's the sure sleeve, the sure cap, the Chinese capsule inside, new Paxilin spacer there. Uh, hopefully all I've got to do now is just solder the things on and away we go. So that's the next job.
I'm not actually expecting uh, great things here. Um, there's a couple of things that are worrying me. There's a slight discrepancy in the length of the capsule. And I'm not totally convinced that the new diaphragm actually has enough clearance inside the sure cap. Uh, so that's a slight problem, I think. So we'll see. Um, I have a horrible suspicion that what we've actually done is squish the diaphragm a little bit by jamming it into the genuine sure cap, which uh, has some, you know, it's a very small difference, but that center just looks a little bit close to me. So it may well be like when we did that test a while back with the, um, the sure mic with the sort of micro turd on it that changed the frequency response drastically just by touching the edge of that cap. But at the moment, this is a real 57, and I'm just going to pull the plug out and plug it into the one that we've just fixed. And I knew it wasn't going to work before I even spoke, because the noise it made when I put the plug in the end was very thin and raspy. So yeah, you're, you're hearing me. I am looking at the screen as well. The level is is down to, so we've got a level change and we've got a huge tonal shift and it's pretty horrible. I don't know, um, with the other one, the fault that made the mic, the genuine sure, go thin was when that diaphragm touched the inside of the cap with that little tiny speck of nothing almost on the centre. So I'm wondering if I, maybe if, if I pull this off slightly, I wonder if I can recreate that. If I heave, I'm... I'm, I'm heaving, but I don't think this making it's not making any real change, is it? So um, I think we're um, that really doesn't sound very good at all. I think what I might do is in the other broken sure that I've got, I'll just do a straight swap, um, not try and attempt to move the grill at all, because this is clearly rubbish. Hang on. Okay, uh, so let's try the less bodged version. So now we've actually got Sure Transformer, Sure Sleeve, Chinese cap connected to the internal Chinese new capsule assembly. And, uh, oh well, let's just plug it in and see. Oh! And that sounded better. That was the sort of noise that these things make, isn't it? So, I mean, yeah, that's definitely got bass in there somewhere. Let's have a go. So, I don't know. So, what have we got? So, we've now got a hybrid Chinese and sure, sure transformer, sure body, Chinese capsule. So, I don't know. Is that going to work? Uh, what we can do, let's just do a quick check. If I disconnect this and plug, I'll make sure I we'll get the real one. Hang on, that's the faulty one. That's the real one. Um, okay, so if I unplug this and swap it, and then we'll, we'll do a proper test in a minute. I don't know. What do you think? Different, actually. I can detect. I think the Chinese one is slightly brighter. Uh, let's just go back and do a, do another one. Let me hold them at the same sort of distance. So that's, that's, uh, we're on the genuine sure. And that's on the fake sure, half sure. Uh, it's definitely different. But on the other hand, it's a heck of a lot better than this one. So 
So, three mics, um, one genuine, I think it's going to be put fine, one a new sort of hybrid mic and I think it'll be usable and one which is just going to go back in the spares box uh, along with all these other bits and pieces of stuff here which is a shame but anyway anyway I suppose what we really ought to do is record some music with it properly and see what the differences actually are.